Can everybody hear us? Hello. Can you see us? There you go. Yeah. It says live. We are absolutely honored to be here. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, this is this is this is fancy for us. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna freeze up. Freeze up. I know I'm gonna freeze up. Oh I don't even know where to start. I'm glad everybody's here. Hey Cheapskate. Hey Ozark family. Hey Allison, Travel Woman, Cindy Woods. Wow, Janice, you make this look easy. This is hard. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, I think you should start off by introducing yourself. Oh, I'm Vicki. I'm Chris. My husband, Chris. You need to move over a little bit. Yeah. yeah. There we go. There we go. Um, I have, oh, there's my son, Eli Bayless. Um, wow. I am just a little bit speechless. I, oh, there's my daughter, Rebecca, <laughs> back there. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, hi from Utah. I'm telling you what, Susie. Hi, Susie. EW42. Wow. Um, I have a bag of questions. And I'm going to just pick one out every once in a while and just answer it. Uh, my daughter has me a note here. It says, tell us about you and your family. Well, we are new to YouTube. We are not new to putting everything on the internet about us. He says, he says, Vicki, they know everything but my underwear size. So, I mean, yeah. yeah they think, probably know that. I, no, they don't. I hadn't put that there. But, uh, wow. Uh, someone asked earlier about my books. Uh, I am a Southern writer. I've been doing that since, oh, I don't know. It's several years. Early early 2000s. And how that came about is, let me tell you, we went with our church group out to, um, I guess it was Breckenridge to ski. It'd be our first time to ski. And we went out there with our church group. And yeah, it was our first time. Okay. And on the, uh, on the way back, no, no, while I was there, yeah, while I was there, I was walking through the lobby and this all these characters just popped into my head. And when I got home, I sat down and I just type, 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 type. And then I type, 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 type. And I did it again. I had two books and I uh, just, I mean, just boom. It must have been a God thing. That's all I can say. But the first one, I gave it to him and I let him read it. And um, he come back in there after he read it and he says, mm -mm, you cannot let anybody else see this. <laughs> I thought, oh my gosh, is it that bad? He said, no, it's good. It's good. He said, but it's about an abused woman and they're going to think it's me doing the abusing. <laughs> I said, no, they're not because you're not dead. <laughs> so anyway, I, needless to say, that one is still in the closet. But the other one I sent out to a place in um, Texas. And it, of course, she did the uh, the editing and corrected all my um, mistakes. mistakes. It looked like something died on it when she sent it back because it was just red everywhere. And as you can tell, English is, it's my first language, but sometimes you can't tell that. So anyway, I sent her another one and I mean, just boom, boom, boom. They popped out and I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's just a God thing, I guess. Hello, Katie from Indiana. Let's see. Sharla and, wow, Janice just makes this say, this seems so easy. Norma Jones from Iowa. Uh, you you can speak at any time. Well, I'm, I'm just, you had before. <laughs> this hey, hey Lisa. Oh my gosh, Lisa's here. Um, let's see what else can we talk about. Oh, uh, what's about my family? We've been married for what 60, 70 years now. What something, like, something that. like that? Mm -hmm. I don't know. We got married in 87. 87. Now, let me tell you about how I met him. Oh, okay. My. <laughs> now, my, I, I was in uh, college. I was at USM and I was working at the um, uh, hospital full time. And then I was babysitting, you know, side hustle. 
And I didn't have time to date, you know, and I was what, 21 and I was getting, you know, past my prom. And so I started, <laughs> I asked God, I said, listen, I don't have time to find myself a husband. And, you know, and I'm getting to the old maid status and I need you to send me somebody. And when you send me somebody, I want you to put the bells and whistles and I mean the light to shine down from heaven. And I want to know because I don't want to miss it. I'm too busy. I'm tired. You know, school is hard. And uh, and you know I'm not that smart, God. So you're going to have to send me somebody so I can focus on the studying. And my <laughs> friend uh, that was from high school, and she said, Vicki, you want to go to the bowling alley with this group of friends that she knew? And I said, yeah, might as well. So I went to the bowling alley, and we bowled. And I'm not very good at bowling, but I'm uh, neither here nor there. When we got through... She's the friend said, y'all want to come over to the um, to my friend's house and we can shoot pool. Well, I'm not very good at shooting pool either, but, you know, mm -hmm. I went. And when I went through the door. I mean, it was just like the bells and whistles, bells and whistles uh, and the light shone down from heaven. And I knew I knew immediately. And I, you know, I just stepped back and I just looked at him and I thought, I don't know, God, are you sure? Because, you know, this, I'm, I'm Vicki Bayless, Modi Summerall, Sunday school class. Um, <laughs> and from where I'm standing right this minute, you know, I see the light. I, see, I hear the bells and whistles. But he looks like he is passed out drunk and there's beer cans all around him. Are you sure? And <sighs> turns out those weren't his beer cans. Now, no, no, saying he hadn't popped a few tops, but he has. Maybe. But, maybe, yeah. So anyway, I guess that was what? 1987? Uh, 87. No, we got married in 87. Oh, so it was 1986. Yeah. Yeah. We're still together. <laughs> God was right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was self-employed when I was 21. And I was, I lived in a house that was, basically a party house, but uh, I, I just walked in and I was too tired. I just laid on the couch. And they weren't mine. Not to say I hadn't indulged before, but I, had, I hadn't been at that time, you know. But anyway, we've been together ever since. Ever since? I know. They want to know if you felt the same, Dad. Did you feel the same? Oh, yeah, I did. Well, I mean. What do you mean, I, well? Well, what I'm saying is I had been around a little bit and I had she was, not. She had not and <laughs> she wasn't a party girl, which was, was what I was used to at that point. And um I it took a, a a month or so, but yeah, I mean after after we dated a while, you know, yeah, I saw all I could think about was her. So. Oh, and that's sweet. It was over then, you know. Wow. Hey, you know what? His daddy actually came up to me later on and said, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Vicki. <laughs> yeah. He, to say he was party guy. There wasn't a county in this state that we couldn't go into. Somebody would go, hi, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you, did you test the waters in every county? But Well, I'm not going to, I'm not going to. Um... No, never mind. I'm not gonna say anything. Never mind. But... It'll be a long night of us talking yeah. about talking things out. But anyway, I have one son, and his name is Eli. We weren't married. I about mean, a month, baby. what? Two days before I found no, out I was pregnant. About a month. About a month. And uh, of course, the nosy bitty bodies at work were going, "Are you sure you weren't pregnant?" No, I wasn't pregnant. So nine months. I had to send you nine yeah, roses. Nine months. You sent me nine roses, and I still had a month to go. <laughs> I can't read all that stuff. That's going too fast. Janet, how on earth do you do this? I don't understand it. But anyway, my son, Elon, he's in his 30s. Um, I would like for him to marry Sarah, but there's probably some legal issues. Him being in the 36, 35, and she's what, he's 35. what, 17. But I wish I wish I'd had another kid because, boy, Sarah would be a welcome welcome <laughs> to our family. But anyway, he, um, he went to... to um, USDM, he has two degrees. He has a degree in uh, Spanish and a degree in um, journalism. Photo journalism. Photo journalism. 
He has gone all over this world. He mm -hmm. is the reason I have gray hair. Uh, the day he turned 18, he was on a plane to Africa. And, you know, that just broke my heart. Um, I don't know, but, it, you know, it was a good thing. He, um, he actually walked across Africa in some areas and he preached in a little dirt hut and he worked at a, um, a boys and girls mission type. Um, I don't know what Some you call it. Missionary type camp missionary or, something. Resort or something. He has got lots and hi Rob, hi Robin, hi Allison. He's got lots and lots of stories. Um, he come home and then he did another year of school and then he went back to Africa. He took one of his friends. No, did he take? I don't know. I don't know. He went back and then he come home and then he said, um, "I need to learn Spanish. I'm going to." Not do a degree in Spanish. And I said, well, is there anybody in Mississippi that can teach you Spanish? Because this boy is wanting to go to Spain to learn Spanish. And I was like, there has got to be somebody <laughs> around here that knows the language of Spanish at that college. But sure enough, he went to Spain and he learned Spanish. And he come back and he graduated. He was working at the little bagel sandwich shop and he graduated. And, and after a while, I was like, son, get out of the bagel shop. We done sent you to college. You're going to use one of them. I don't care which one it is, but you're going to use one of them. And then he did. He ended up in Nicaragua and then India. Oh, gosh. I, I don't know. Vicksburg. He works at the paper in Vicksburg. Um, I don't know. He's actually a really good photographer. He's a really good photographer. He's an award-winning photographer. Award-winning photographer. Yes. We're so proud of him. He's my firstborn. As my daughter says, he's my favorite, but that's not true. <laughs> My daughter, on the other hand, um, lives right down the road from me. She um, gave me two grandchildren. There she is. <laughs> she's she's probably my favorite. I got grandchildren from her. But she um, she she knows Spanish too. Uh, she had four years of Spanish in high school, and then she went to be a um, a business major, I think. And she made her first ever. D. I mean, I thought we was going to, you know, because she's smart. She's really, really smart. And right. she changed her major. <laughs> she did. She said, uh, uh going into teaching. And she got a degree in elementary education, Rebecca. Mm -hmm. And then she didn't stop there. She went to um, hmm, William Carey and got another degree. I don't know what that was in. Master, right? It's a master's. What? Special education. Oh, special education. And then she had me two babies, got married. Went, no, no, no. Back it up. She got married. She went to the Peace Corps. Yeah. She broke my heart. Indonesia. Indonesia. Yeah. She stayed there for like 10, 15 years. I thought she'd never get back home. <laughs> I um, think it was like well, it may 20 been, months, maybe. It may have been two and a half years. I don't know. But anyway, she came back home and then she went to uh, Baylor in um, Baylor University and she got a doctorate and she is who I'm going to live with because she's going to be wealthy and we're going to move in with her. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I'm tired of paying bills. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, voice reason. Hi, how are you? That's what they're using. All your me. kiddos are very educated. Well done. Thank you. I'd like to say um, that they get it from us, but I tell my mother all the time because I know my siblings and I know his siblings. Apparently that stuff skips generation because my mama was smart and me and my, I, I like never got out of high school. I, and me going to, me going to college was, you know, that was funny at the start. I got in, I think, I don't know how many years it took me to get through with this algebra one. I had to take algebra 100 and algebra one and algebra two and chemistry 100. And uh, I got a chemistry 101, 102. I thought I was going to be a nurse, but you know how much I've used that stuff. Before? Mm -hmm. I ain't used none of that chemistry. And I certainly don't know how to use algebra. No, nope. I mean, but you, you are a nurse. Yeah. I ended up being a nurse. Um, it took me about, Five years to get to be a nurse because you know I had babies and all that, and I, I was a nurse for about what twenty five minutes. Something like that, that stuff's hard. 
That's just real hard. Hey, Kathy Ponder. Um, Mary Heckler? He Hecker. Wow. I'm going to have to my glasses on. <laughs> I know. I may need thicker glasses for sure. <laughs> I tell you, uh, Janice, we're going to have a talk when this thing's over with because you're making this look, you make this look easy. You should have given me a little warning. I don't know if I'd have ever done this. Mm. They want to know what specialty of nursing. Um, it was the dialysis floor. Now, when I was in college, uh, for three, three years, I was, I worked in the RDU, which was, uh, I was a tech, I was a dialysis technician and I loved that job. I mean, I should have just stuck with that. Um, I loved it. It is, um, uh, there's some sick people and I worked at the hospital, you know, we'd go into the ICU and, um, uh, we would have patients in there as well. And, um, it, I loved those patients. I loved them. I did. Um, it was, we had a cattle farm that was 122 acres. And I don't know how many head of cow we had. How many, how, how many heads of cattle we had? 80 to a hundred. Mama and it was, you know, we had a hay field that was a, you know, business. It was a Tipton Bermuda. So we, I mean, we would cut that and people would come and buy the whole entire field. Um, that's when my son learned to drive at six. <laughs> he went to six. He's probably about eight, nine. I was like, look, son, your mama is tired. Get yourself in that truck. Now, this is how you make it go. And well, don't run over me. I mean, it was just, whew. Well, what, what do you guys it. watch? Let's see. What do you guys watch? We, well, on Mondays and Tuesdays, we watch The Voice. Um, mostly YouTube. Um, we'll watch... Um, series like on Netflix and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, oh, Laverne and Shirley, yeah. I've watched all of that. Um, let's see. What else do we... What else? Draw hard. Oh, I mean, let me draw. <laughs> let's see. Oh, favorite TV show. <laughs> draw another one. Draw another one. Let's see. <laughs> Favorite place to visit um, where Janice lives. <laughs> I tell you, I'm Janice's stalker. One day I'm going to knock on her door as soon as I can figure out where she lives. Um, <laughs> I'm just joking, Janice. Don't don't put a restraining over me. <laughs> um, let's see. No, for like, me or you? Or for what? all of us. We, when, when the kids were young... We would, uh, we had a camper. Oh my goodness. That first camper we bought was like $4,000 and it was held together by duct tape and he had to put some screws in it some somewhere. And it was a barely working toilet in there. Um, but we took that camper all over the place. I mean, we took it up to West Virginia. First um, place. First they place the skiing. kids learned to ski. Yeah, the on kids ice. on ice. <laughs> they want to ski on ice. And when we finally took them out to uh, Breckenridge and uh, Ski Apache, and I can't think of some of the other places, but it was like powder, and they they were just like, if you can ski on ice, you can you can ski anywhere. Um, yeah. Now my son he took to skiing um, just natural, just natural. Now my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> we literally had to draw straws who was going to have to be the parent to her for that day. And I was always the one who had to um, go with her. Every ski place we went, she had to have ski school. Uh, now, Eli, would, he would be on the blacks and the black diamonds. And Chris, one time Chris come down, he looked like he would be like he rolled down the thing. Which I did. Which he probably <laughs> did. So I was kind of glad to be with Rebecca, but it never failed when you were in, um, oh, I hear Mia. I'll get her in a minute. Um, when uh, we were in that basket going up the mountain with Rebecca, she always would lose a ski or knock something out of our hands. Or, you know, we never got there. Um, you know, never got to the top of the hill in one, in one piece. One time, Rebecca and I, we were going, we practiced and we practiced and we practiced. Okay, Rebecca, we're going to scoop down. And when it comes up, we just slide back. You know, it's just going to catch you under your knees and you're just going to go on. Well, 
she did not make it in the basket. I looked back and she's on her back like a turtle spinning. And everybody's going over her. And she's spinning on her back. And I'm in the basket. And this is my eight-year-old that I'm leaving behind. And there was nothing else I could do but to jump out of that basket in midair. I mean, just foosh. Now, where I landed was not an area where they packed me on the snow. And I buried myself. I went like a <laughs> torpedo coming from heaven. Foof. And I, you know, I, I literally, I thought, well, did I die? I don't know. And this man came up to me and he, I, I'm not sure he may have been um, Native American. I'm, I'm not sure because I didn't recognize the language, but I did recognize I was being chewed out. And he chewed me good all the way back. In Apache. It was the Apache. I don't know. He chewed me out. Apache. And we went home. I grabbed my daughter's hand and I said, come on, your mama's going to learn how to drink beer. And I, I, of course <laughs> I didn't, but I wanted to. I wanted to drink. I was just nervous, just nervous. Um, but anyway, so we're hoping in the next year to um, take my grandbaby skiing. Now, my days of skiing are over. Uh, I don't think I will ever be able to um, ski again with my uh, total knee replacement. I think that was one of the things they said I could never do again. Probably not. Yeah, but I would love to watch my grandchildren. I, I, I love the things that I did for my children. My daughter is doing for my grandchildren. And I know it. Um, it's good things. It's, yeah. it's good things. Well, we um, used to take them at spring break, we'd either go to Key West, Key West, our ski, and pretty yeah. much was the, not that we could do it every year, but we did it quite often. You know, yeah, we would we would save our money up, and we would take our food. We had the camper, so we would take all our food, and that way, our only expense would be gas for the vehicle and um, camper, the camper parks that we'd stay in. And then uh, your, you know, skis and your activities, your activities. Yeah. Yep. Let's see. Charity Walls. Thank you for being here, Charity. Um, let's see. Who am I? I, I've just forgotten to look on there. I, I can't do it. I don't know how, how y'all do it. <laughs> My daughter's. If we miss any questions, Rebecca will tell us. Yeah. I'll go back through afterwards. Uh, well, it may not be today because I'm. I'm probably gonna be emotionally drained by the time I get through with this. Here, let's do another. Let's do another. <laughs> oh, if I was a drinker. <laughs> what makes you most thankful? What makes you most thankful? What does that mean? What makes you most thankful? Did you forget some words on this? What makes you most thankful? What makes you most <laughs> thankful? What are you most thankful for? Oh, oh, I was meant to be a mama. Meant. Well. <laughs> <laughs> meant to be a mama and I was meant to be a grandmama. Now y'all gonna need to sit down and hear this because you're not gonna believe it. You're gonna think I'm lying, but I'm not. I wanted to be a Miami Vice narcotics agent. Yeah. I changed my major from nursing. Oh, let me give you time to spit and wipe your computer. But I changed my major from nursing to um criminal justice yeah turns out there's some scary people in this <laughs> world and i am scared of them so that did not work out um so back to well actually i got pregnant got pregnant again and then um i stayed home i was a stay home mom. now he owns a business um so i did the the books for that and I'm not a professional at that either. You do pretty good. Yeah. But. So anyway, later on, I went back to nursing. What are you most thankful of for then? My life. I have, well, the, most, the, I question, have, right? I have the most awesome life. I really do. It's hard sometimes. You know, when we had the cattle farm, um, that was hard, but it was good. It was good for my children. They learned how to work. <laughs> it was so good. Yeah. Um, they learned if you don't take I'm care of things, they don't do well. <laughs> I'm sorry, Robin. 
<laughs> She's trying to cook dinner and her stories keep distracting. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. So someone said, I have a hard time seeing you kicking someone behind. And I said, you should hear about the time you ran off a of burglar. Yes. Let me tell you about that. My friend Beth and I, we, uh, we lived in Lake Serene and there was the, um, oh, I don't know. We decided to do walking and I'd walk at her end of the, road, end of the uh, neighborhood and she'd, you know, walk on mine. And we got behind this garbage truck and we were walking. It was like, oh my gosh, is this thing ever going to go away? And we finished our walking fast. We cut it short because we was behind the garbage truck. And I went home. And when I got home, there was a car in my, in my driveway. And I didn't recognize it. But that's, you know, we lived on the lake. Uh, the kids were always inviting people to come over and fish. And, you know, I thought that's what it was, but I, you know, I didn't recognize the car. Um, I looked inside the car because I'm nosy and I didn't recognize the name tag that was hanging on the rear view mirror. And what you did take a picture, of. but I did take a picture of it. And I did take a picture of the tag and I, I guess about, and I called him, I said, who, who's here at the house? And of course he, you didn't know. I, don't, I didn't. Yeah. And I don't know where the kids were. They're probably in Africa or Indonesia or somewhere. I don't know. But anyway, this little man, this little dude comes walking out from my backyard. And I said, uh, can I help you? And and he said, no, I was just here to fish. Oh, well, okay. And I guess I gave him the mama talk. I don't know. It scared him so bad that he dropped his wallet when he darted away. Now, when he darted away to get in his car, I got back in my car because, hey, what are you doing at my house? And I blocked him. I blocked my car. And I blocked his car with my car. And you know what that sapsucker did? He drove through my yard. We had just planted sod. And he yeah, drove through my yard and he peeled out and made ruts. And I turned my car around. And I chased him. I called 911 and I said, Look, I said, found somebody was in my house. I'm pretty sure. I said, He's headed down Westlake Road. Y'all meet me at uh, the end of it, which was Old Highway 24, 24, or I don't know, whichever. I said, Y'all meet me there. Let's, let's get them off. Um, we can surround them. Well, <laughs> you know what 911 told me? <laughs> Stop the pursuit. Yeah. Yeah. Stop the pursuit. I said, no, I'm going to catch him. No, ma'am, you're not. <laughs> well, needless to say, I got back home and I called my friend. And I called Chris and um, then I, you know, I go inside and sure enough, he'd been in my house. He broke some things. He stole some things. And he'd already been back to the car a couple of times. And yeah. Put yeah. Stuff in the he car. got my coin collection. Yeah, he did. So, needless to say, um, 911 said, okay, can you describe him? Well, yeah, I've got pictures. <laughs> did you get his tag? Yeah, i got a picture of it. Here it is. You get his name? Yeah, i got his name. Yeah. You want his wallet? And they took off. They wouldn't let me, but they took off, and they, they called him behind a church somewhere, and they brought all my stuff back. And from then on, the... Um, Sheriff's Department, they call me Deputy Vicky. <laughs> <laughs> well, my question is, what was you going to do when she, you called them? Oh, that was when I made up my mind to become a concealed carry. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. And I know how to shoot. Yeah. Yep. So. There was another question up there that I lost it. But... Oh. What if you had a gun or something? I don't know. I was stupid. Didn't think about that. That's why she got her concealed. I got weapon. my concealed carry now. I made her go to an eight-hour class and uh, where I would feel safe with her with a pistol, you know. Uh, turns out I'm a better shot than him. No. Yeah, I am. Yeah. The, uh, when I got certified, they, they put a little smiley face on my They didn't on him. He missed the question. <laughs> Well, you didn't answer you that just, one. You just believe that. I know. I know. Let's see here. Most embarrassing moment. 
That is an everyday thing. Yeah. Y'all need to read my books. <laughs> um, most embarrassing. You could write a book about the embarrassing things. I mean, I live that daily, and I just keep going because I can write a book about we'll it. Think about that one. Yeah, let me get back to that one. Huh, I don't know. Let's see. What is the best advice for young couples? Um, don't play house till you get married. Um, let's see. Always have God in your life. Yep. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Always have God in your life. And, you know, and this is just me because I'm such an expert in relationships. <laughs> You're going to have peaks and valleys. There are, I mean, there were times in our younger marriage that I literally at night, I wanted to take the pillow and just say, go into the light, go into the light, and, you know, <laughs> but I didn't, I didn't. Well, I'm glad I didn't know that. Yeah. No, I think it's, she answered it. You have to have some faith. Yep. And um, I'm not a storyteller like her, so. But I mean, keep God in your life and don't expect anything out of your wife that you don't expect out of yourself. So. Oh, listen there! <laughs> Biggest pet peeve. Oh, how long do we have? Because I can answer that one. Kudzu. Oh, I do. I am scared to death of kudzu. That now, stuff is going to what take over the world. <laughs> I, you know, I'm scared to death of that. I, I don't. I, I don't have a lot of fear of anything, but Kudzu's not one of them. But <laughs> I will tell you, um, the difference between me and him is I like to be organized, and he does not. And a big thing with him is he leaves the cabinet doors open. That's not a big thing. Oh, well, it wasn't. It, I mean, it, to me back then, it was. It's like, oh, my gosh. Um, I don't know. Uh, we, one time we were, and I'm not, I didn't grow up in a boat. Like, we would go skiing when we'd go down to my uh, cousin's house. But, you know, that was few and far between. And I did learn how to ski. And I did know, learn how to, one ski, ski on one. Um, I could drop it. I never could pull myself up on one. But, I remember now he already he had a boat and we were at the camp. His we were already married and we were at the camp and he took me fishing. Um, another one of those fine, fine things I do not excel at is fishing. But anyway, we go there and it come up a storm cloud. And then it come up like um, I don't know, I mean severe. Storm clouds, severe. Yeah. It was in the bay. It was by, in the bay, by St. Louis. And we're going, and I'm getting wet, and I'm scared to death. And he reaches down and does this. And at that point in time, I thought, Lord, you have let me marry an idiot, hadn't you? He pulled the little thing out of the bottom of the boat. The plug. The plug. And I thought, well, we're going to drown now. And I'm just chewing him out. Now, I don't like to chew out. I'm good at it. I was raised in the trailer park. Trailer park, if you can't come out. And But anyway, I was just chewing him out because I thought, you know, we're going to die. We're going to die. She literally lost her mind. I did. I lost my mind. And what? and he's just, you know, he's just doing nothing. I, that was after I did it. He's just grinning. There was a boat coming by us. And they caught the whole scene. I was so embarrassed. I was so well, embarrassed. The thing is, I didn't know anybody didn't know that. Everybody I knew knew when you get lots of water in the boat, you pull the plug out when you're running. We didn't have any bays and or lakes or anything like that in the trailer park. I didn't know anybody didn't know that. Yeah. You know, but she literally thought, I think her first statement is, you're trying to kill me. Yeah. You're trying to kill me. We're going to die. But that, you know, that's one of my pet peeves. He's, I am... Planner, safety, uh, he is not. He is not. Um, well, we're out of we're out of questions. How long we've we been? Oh my gosh, we've only been going thirty five minutes. It feels like two hours. 
show there. your books and people want to know everywhere that you can buy them. Okay. Here's my books. Now, this one, let me tell you about this one. This one here is all, these are all my friends on the front here. And how this book came about was um, online, Facebook. I would just make up funny things about my friends. And and we just all laugh and stuff. And we were in a, um, oh, a ladies group. And it's called No Man's Land. And, you know, we're just a bunch of ladies. And we're, you know, we, um, oh, how long have y'all been married again? Um, 36. I don't know. We got married in 87. 87. 36 years? What? Oh. Yep. We'll wow. be 37 this year, I think. Oh, yeah. So anyway, these uh, group of ladies, um, I said, you know what? I am going to make a book and I'm going to put you guys, all these little ladies, as uh, um, characters in the books. And you can make up your own name or you can um, keep your name. And then I, I'm, a, I'm friends with lots of law enforcement. I, I volunteer with the sheriff's department. I haven't done it in the last couple of years because I moved, but... Um, I would volunteer for the sheriff and um, he would have this big project that I do every year. And um, he was in the book. And then lots of uh, law enforcement that I know were in the book. And and they all chose to keep their names. And then when the book got published, I was like, oh, they kept their names. I am going to have to keep my tag legal, you know, because <laughs> they kept their names and I just wrote a book about them. And, but as it turns out, they all liked it. It's called the garden club. Garden club secrets. secrets. Oh, this is the very first one. This is just a little Southern. My son called it the pink book. Um, it is pink. It is pink. Uh, true stories. It's about growing up in the tribal park, uh, about raising my family on the farm. And, which she knew nothing about a farm. I knew nothing. We didn't have very many cows and chickens and hogs in the trailer park. <laughs> and then the, the next one I wrote was this one, just a little more Southern. Now, look at the name here. Just a little Southern, just a little more Southern. Had I known that I was going to be a writer, this name would have been a little bit more creative because I thought this was going to be it. And I was just writing it for my family just to keep the stories up um, so they'll, they'll know about it. Now... These two here are pea patches and butterbean fields and down this road a piece. They are um, also true stories. Short stories. Short stories. Um, you can sit down and just read one at a time and or, or whatever. Now, I do have another one. I couldn't find the book. It's called uh, Up There Around the Bend, and it's my latest short story. And I, I did get a contract on another one, and I, I just... I haven't done um, it needs to be edited and I um, had that thing with my knee surgery and I you know basically just gave up a year in or two <laughs> of doing nothing but moaning and groaning because it hurt now this book right here let me tell you huh? which is my favorite book of hers um is is false but there are some things in there that probably huh what <laughs> False. Well, there's a fancy word for it. Fiction. It's fiction. fiction. <laughs> there That's goes. a fancy word there. It's the reason. It's the reason I almost did not get out of high school. Um, uh, oh, boy. And the reason I have an editor. But anyway, this little dude right here. I, uh, this little boy at my church, um, I actually put on Facebook. I said, look, I have an idea for this book cover and my son, the photographer, professional photographer, I, um, he was going to take, I was telling myself, I said, this is what I want. So I put on Facebook, I said, I would like to take a picture of a little boy from behind. And I said, who would like to, you know, offer up their child? And my daughter, offer up their child. Yeah, my daughter called me and she said, mom, Get that off of Facebook. You have probably just been put on some sort of watch list. <laughs> I, you know, it's like, huh? But anyway, this boy, this boy here, my daughter had just started dating him. And when the, um, he, he agreed to it. I think he was trying to get 
into our good graces. And um, the first time she brought him out to the house, literally, she asked me and Chris to leave. Can y'all go somewhere? She didn't want them around us. He didn't. She didn't want him around us. And I don't know why, because we're good people. <laughs> but anyway, so we left our house. We went, rode down to the clubhouse, I think. I don't know. And they went fishing. They got in the kayak and they went fishing. And it was, we still didn't meet them. And then later on, they're, they're dating. And, you know, we know they're dating. And, um, but we couldn't meet him. And then Rebecca got West Nile. Yep. Now she's working on her master's at William Carey. And she got West Nile and something else. Um, Spinal meningitis. Spinal meningitis. Spinal meningitis yeah. So I'm up there with her and in he walks. I said, aha, I'm going to meet this fella. And I've got lots of questions for him. <laughs> and we sit there and, you know, this is Nathan. This is my mom, yada, yada, yada. And Rebecca, who is suffering from West Nile and hallucinating, she said, mom, there's some cats over there. And I'm, no, there's not. Yes, there is, mom. I see them right there. Those cats right there under your chair. And of course, you know, I'm getting a little bit nervous because you know what if there is a ghost cat under there but anyway i said there's not and then she looks at um she looks at nathan and she says well nathan sees them <laughs> and nathan looks at me and he says i don't see them <laughs> so that's like, well yeah and then then he left and then he came back later and i thought oh wait a minute now he may be a keeper because we just had a round of craziness in here and he came back <laughs> and uh <coughs> <laughs> right, I told Rebecca, I said, well, he's seen you at your worst. And, you know, he he came back. Uh, oh, we got 44 people on here. But finish your story. Oh, what was it about? about Nathan and the book? Oh, when the um, when they said, you know, you can do this. This one needs a sequel. And um, I told Rebecca this before they got married. I said, look. They want a sequel to it. You mind dating him just a little bit longer? <laughs> and of course, they end up getting married. And going to Indonesia. And then he drug her off to Indonesia. It's like married one day and Indonesia the next. And my heart just, you know, I was thinking, okay, if I can find a box big enough, I'm going to hide his body before they go. <laughs> and I didn't because it's illegal. And I won't do good in jail if I got caught. And I'm still... Doubt not get caught, but <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord, oh, y'all see what see. I have to live with, right? Oh, uh, let's see here. Uh, who have I missed? Am I just rambling? I'm sorry if I'm, if I'm just rambling. Voice freezing. <laughs> oh, if I got caught, you know, actually, I ended up um, being in charge of, they don't call it safety team. They don't call it security team. They call it safety team. So I was in charge of the safety team at our church. And so, you know, we worked with the um, officers that would come and do, do our church. It was right up my alley. I mean, I thought it was a big wig then. <laughs> they wouldn't give me a badge. Wouldn't give me a badge. Um, they gave me everything else. They wouldn't give me a badge. Um, <laughs> I had one of the officers said, said Vicky. Oh, I know what, I know what. I said, Vicky, you if you even if you commit a murder, ain't nobody at this police station gonna believe you did it. So I said, yeah. They might think Chris did it. They might think Chris did it, but we wouldn't believe you did it. So I don't know why I said that. Probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Oh, my daughter's back there going. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Is there any questions I missed, Rebecca? See what were they doing in Peace Corps? They were in the Peace Corps. Um, she was teaching the teachers, and she had to learn two languages to be able to give these conferences. She would. Um, she had some big conferences. I don't know how many people would go to these conferences, Rebecca. Thousands, Thousands of people, and she would be. Um, 
I love it that you're the head of the safety team. I know, Sean, can you believe it? Me. And I carried a gun. I know. And and earpieces. And oh, it was, it was great. There was um, let me let me tell you about this. Let's tell you how good I was at my job. Um I he was already at, he, he had to go to work first and then he went on to church. So I drove myself to church and and he was just gonna come in the work truck. And as I was going down the road, there was this lady walking and something told me to just stop and talk to her. And it was like talking to one of my long lost cousins. And because I cracked the window and talked to her and I said, she said, you wouldn't mind giving me a ride up there. And I said, well, yeah, I said, actually, I'm going to church. Would you like to come with me to church? Um, you can have some coffee and Coke or a cinnamon roll because we did that at church. And she said, sure. Yeah. I thought, oh, I'm doing the Lord's work. So anyway, I, 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 get I was into actually out of town. Remember? Oh, were you out of town? Yeah, because I didn't know about it for like two weeks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't tell. That's right. You weren't there. Yeah. I think some. I think somebody told on me. But anyway, oh, yeah. um, security officer told on me. But anyway, I'll walk into church with this, this, um, lady that I just picked up on the side of the road and I thought she is, I mean, she is just the sweetest little lady. And we walked through that door and let me tell you, I don't know what it was, but it's like Sybil come out. <laughs> and she started strutting all over that church, asking people for money. And I'm horrified because I'm the head of the safety team. I just brought crackhead to church. And <laughs> She started digging into her and throwing clothes out of her bag. And I thought, oh my gosh, she's going for a knife or a gun. And so I didn't know what to do. I introduced her to the pastor because, you know, I thought, you know, I got to shove this off on somebody else because <laughs> I did it, but I don't, I'm not going down for it. So anyway, the security officer, I mean, the, the real cop, the real officer, he was um, a de not a detective, was an investigator. He had spotted her when she come in the door. Now, I am not judging. I grew up in a trailer park. I can't judge. <laughs> um, even if I was high dollar, I still wouldn't judge. But I was scared for everybody around us. And that's, you know, why I'm saying this. So I um, walk her over to the security office. I mean, the investigator who was on duty that day. And he looks at me like, we're going to talk about this, Vicky, when you get through. And he, she saw him, and she made a beeline out the door. And I didn't see her again. Um, then I got my lecture from the um, investigator. So anyway, I, you know, I loved being the head of the safety team. Sometimes I wasn't good at it. Sometimes I was good at it. And the first time I caught something that was um, a questionable, questionable character that wanted to go into the children's department, which to work in our children's department, you have to be, you have to go through an F, FBI background check. And um, so you don't, we don't let anybody just walk in the children's department. But I, I caught, I, I saw him come in just like, the investigator had saw this lady come in and I went to him and I said, okay, I, I think I see something. And he said, yeah, yeah, you do. So, you know, um, we, we love everybody at our church and we want everybody to feel comfortable out of the church. And, um, but you know, we wanted our children to be safe. And, and I, I believe that guy still goes to our church, you know, but he don't go to the children's department. <laughs> Oh, my. And I hadn't seen Sybil, you know, I hadn't seen Sybil. Yeah, I, I, didn't I, I actually, for like two weeks. I man. prayed about Sybil. I, I wanted her, uh, her life to, to turn around. And I'm not judging Sybil because, you know, as I say, we all have things in our life. We all do. Um, wow. Let's see. 49 minutes. Jeez. It feels like it's been another 50 minutes. So, if I had another one of these things, would anybody else come back? Or is this <laughs> is this like, oh, bless her heart, we're gonna stay here till she's finished, but we're not gonna go. 
we're gonna get 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 out of here and bless her heart. Bless her heart. Are, is anybody blessing my heart right now? Bless her heart. She's an idiot, but we'll just stay until. All right, what else are we gonna talk about? I'm out of questions. Has anybody else asked anything? Oh, look at Mary using them fancy words. What does astute mean? <laughs> Do you think your astute observation skills helped you in all your professions? Yeah, it did up until Sybil. Yeah. And then, then I thought, hmm, I'm not the woman for the job. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, Lisa said she would come back. Yay, I'm so happy. <laughs> Do this weekly. Oh, weekly. I'd have to have a prescription for the, the doctor to do this weekly. Janice, we're going to talk, Janice. We're going to talk. You didn't tell me how hard it was to look and talk at the same time. Sean wants to know if Chris does any tournament fishes. He did. He did. Um, um, I'll tell you this one time. He was out fishing, had the boat, and he, um, you know, this, this was back before we had cell phones. And there may have been cell phones out in the world, but we didn't have them. And I got Eli ready. He was, I don't know, 15 don't know a year, year and a half, something like that. And then I got, um, I will too, as long as we refrain from setting me up with anyone. But I'm telling you, Eli, if you was just a little bit younger, you and Sarah would be introduced right now. <sighs> but anyway, so anyway, I get, I get Eli ready. Get him all dressed up because we're headed to church. It's revival, and we're headed to church. And he's not here, and and the clock is ticking. Oh, and okay. I uh, then I get Rebecca ready. Well, when I get Rebecca ready, Eli crawls back into the tub, and he's soaking wet. So and he's still not here. And then I get Rebecca ready, and then I get um um yeah. Eli ready again. And then I hear splash, 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 splash. He is, um, Eli has crawled back into Rebecca's little bitty bath thing. He's wet again. And I thought, oh my goodness, he's still not here. And I'm getting to the point where I really need church. I need the revival. And I get him dressed again. And the only other shoes left in the house for him is house shoes. And let me tell you. I hear splash, 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 splash. So, Rebecca's ready. She's hungry. Eli's been dressed three times. And I hear splash, 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 splash. And he's still not here at the house. He's, Eli is in the toilet. He's sitting in the toilet bowl. <laughs> wet. Uncle Eli did that. He's not here. And that's when I knew ESP does not really work because I was sending some really strong vibes <laughs> to my husband who was fishing. And church is starting in like five minutes. And I'm having to redress a youngin. And we I, made it. Well, here he comes in. Pulls in the driveway and um, comes in the house. Now, I have his clothes laid out. I have his clothes laid out. He jumps in his clothes. We go to church pulling the boat because we don't have time to take it off. I go into the church, I, you know, talking to youngin. I got two backpacks because they're in two different classrooms. I have my Bible. I have his Bible. We walk in and everyone's shaking our hands, we're walking through the fellowship hall, and they're shaking our hands and how y'all doing and um, <clears throat> get to the preacher's wife. And I don't know how she said it because, you know, being a preacher's wife, it's got to be hard. But she says, um, basically, what y'all doing here tonight? And I said, um, revival. And she looks at me and she said in her sweetest voice, she said, Helen, this is Deacon's meeting. <laughs> revival starts next week. <laughs> I literally handed him two kids, two backpacks, two Bibles. And I cried all my way out. And I thought, well, we can't go back. <laughs> We're just got to move somewhere else. So, needless to say, what was we talking about? Fishing. Oh, yeah, tournament fishing. Yeah, he tournament fished back then. He played softball. Um, I had a softball team. Yeah, softball team. He went hunting. Uh, he fished. 
Well, I changed diapers at the house. Yeah, well, I quit tournament fishing when I seen grown man cheating on these little, not very much money tournaments. I said, look, they're taking them. Yeah. The joy out of fishing to me. Yeah. I didn't do it for the money. You know, I wasn't doing tournament fishing for money. Oh, bye, Allison. Good night. Thank you for stopping by. Please don't judge us. <laughs> I'll be on medicine next time. <laughs> We are just going to have to move. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was so embarrassed. Literally. I mean, Come here, Cliff. one, you know, I had worked so hard getting these kids. Um, oh, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me y'all come meet my grandchildren. They <laughs> <laughs> haven't met Jennifer come yes. right through here. This is Cliff. And the reason he's not dressed is because he was in the water. Um, just look, outside. Say hi. Hi. I love my grandbabies. I love them. Oh, yep. goodness gracious. Okay. Oh, here we go. Oh, is it Hey, Karen Bird? Oh, is this is this our Karen Bird from church? I sure is. I wonder if it is. Karen, do you, no, Karen was at Macedonia, wasn't she? Or, no, she was at First Baptist with us. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. One nice nurse. Hi there. Let's see. Fish. Oh, yes, cheapskate. Please like and subscribe. And um, Oh, we made 400. Yay! Good deal. We still got what? 600 to go? Yeah. Yeah. Um Thank you, Allison. Um hoping Hopping off, you did very well. Oh, thank you, Voice Reason. Yay. I'm going to go back through. Uh, thank you, Charlotte, for co coming back. <laughs> oh, honestly. If, if I don't see As you can tell, I don't, I don't usually get a word in, you know, word yes, you in edgewise. You do, too. Oh, come meet my son-in-law. Come. Oh, he, oh, he, he just, don't want to be up here. I ain't never seen him move that fast. <laughs> Oh, be careful. Don't slip down in there. You see what we all have to live with? Yeah. Oh, goodness. Oh, my little niece is here. Hey, Rylan. I'm so glad you were able to come here and see your crazy aunt. Rylan is a nurse. Um, she just she just became a nurse. Hope she lasts more than the 15 minutes I did. <laughs> I did that first day on the floor. I got out there and I, you know, I'm an organized person and I got out there and I honestly did not know how to spell my name. It's like, what have I done to myself? Nursing was hard. It was hard. Let's see. Sandy Lacey. Hi, Sandy Lacey. Who am I missing? I, I promise you, I am going to go back through and I'm going to look at all of this, all these comments. Thank you, Allison. We um we got one of those fancy lights, the, the circle lights. I really don't know how to use it. My daughter hooked it up. Honey, I put it in my this <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> yes, we now have rainbow. So if you start seeing strobe lights in here, you know, oh, oh, you turned it off. Yeah. <laughs> Turn it back on to say cast a shadow on my chin there. And you push the red light and turn off. Yeah. Okay. Well, what do you want to talk about? Let's see. Oh, let's see. Another choice like laugh my arse off. <laughs> they should give another choice like laugh my laugh my arse off. <laughs> Norm Jones, thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Let's see. Oh, it's one minute till um till an hour. So I guess we need to um stop at an hour. But look, go back and do all my videos, get to know us. We're good people. Um, we try to make a living here. Um, buy books. You need your air conditioning fix right there. Um, let's see. What else can I say? Bless your heart. That's all. <laughs> please, please don't bless my heart. Y'all, y'all, please come back. <laughs> Do I watch any 90s shows? Well, in the 90s, I had little babies and I didn't know if I was coming or going. Literally, I mean, the Fruit Loops on the floor. We watch One, them now. So Yeah, we can watch them now. One day I um, 
the preacher's wife came over. And I don't know if y'all are like me, but when the preacher's wife come over, you really clean because you don't <laughs> you don't want to be sitting in church and her going, mm-hmm, he's got a dirty house. And so anyway, I cleaned and cleaned and cleaned. And they it was a Tupperware party. And um, so everybody just was sitting around. And um, I look up and sitting on my coffee table in one of those ceramic magnolia plants that everybody in the world had back then sitting in the very top of it was a half eaten piece of corn on the cob <laughs> i didn't know that yeah yeah i'm sure i don't know who all saw it before i did but there's no graceful way to reach up and take corn of the cob off <laughs> off a centerpiece i'm sure eli did that well i know it was eli because she couldn't she couldn't eat that she was baby baby so nobody's wife is coming over. <laughs> what? Twelve hour shifts or thirty five? What does that mean? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, um, it was hard. You know, we had the cattle farm. Both my children were competitive gymnasts. Um, we had the hay field, and I was a nurse, and he owned a business, and I was the bookkeeper, and something had to give. I, I couldn't do it all. And I gave up nursing. And five minutes later, my children decided to quit gymnastics and we sold the farm. So, I, you know, I didn't go back. It wasn't five uh, minutes. It was years. But... Yeah, but still. Um, let's see. I can't make it. Oh, okay. I guess we need to sign off. So I forgot how to do a sign off. Oh, I just say goodbye. See Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Um, Good night to everybody. Please don't judge. This is my first one. I was a little nervous. Um, make sure you subscribe to the channel. What else does Janice say? Oh, please subscribe to the channel and help my family grow. My family's channel grow. There we go. I did it. Let's see what else. Um, help an old man retire. Yes. 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 I guess that's it. I don't really know how to click this ending. Let me see. Thanks for coming. Yeah. See ya. Good night, Lisa. Good night, Deborah. Good night, Allison. Oh, Trisha's here. I didn't know you was here, Trisha. Trisha is Chris's cousin. Um, so she knows firsthand <laughs> all the craziness. <laughs> Trisha, one day you're gonna have to really tell me what the family thought of me when I when I popped into the family. Trisha's savior. <laughs> I'm out. He's out. All right. Rebecca, come up here and sign me off. I don't know how to make this thing stop. <laughs> All right, come I on. Guess I missed that please in there. Please. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Oh,